Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So, got a beehive here, and apparently this is the only hive that I had that survived the winter. I really thought those ones over there with the little boxes were gonna survive, but, but it appears like they just kicked the bucket a couple weeks ago. Well, this one still has got bees flying around as you can see. So uh, I think it's about time we wake them up. Uh, the uh, trees should start blooming here pretty soon. Looks like the hive's a little bit skewed. Because I had a lot of weight on it to keep it together. You know, make sure the wind didn't blow it over. But now I think it's like pushing it into the ground. So we got to fix that. And we got to take all these uh, stuff off of there. So this hive is actually a queen from the hive that survived last winter. That had, uh, so it's the daughter of that queen. They've requeened themselves probably late last year. Uh, I'm surprised they were able to get her mated. Because there was that hive, this hive, and two hives that I had down there at the time. So, but they survived the winter, so I can't complain. Well, I can see down in there they've got a little bit of honey. So let's actually put the lid back on. Maybe I'll go get my suit before I really take them apart. This is a pretty angry, uh, an aggressive hive. I think these guys actually bred with the hive that uh, some of my beekeeping friends thought might be actually be uh, Africanized. So they might have a little tiny bit of Africanized bee in them. And you know what? I'm fine with that because these guys survived the winter. See, I took this box here off because it didn't really have any honey in it. And it was just a large empty space that the bees were having to heat up. So I took it off to compress the hive down into just the two boxes. That definitely saved you know, thermal space for the bees to heat up. Let's take these uh, the straps off here. I just had this on there to add a little bit of wind blockage and it absorbs the sun heating them up. I'll come back in a little while with my bee suit and actually... Uh... Uh, fix them up a little bit better. <laughs> Look at that. The bees are starting to find some flowers. Very nice. You can see that bee up there in the tree. These uh, elm trees here are starting to bloom. Very nice. And the bees are getting to them. You can just hear buzzing all over the yard now. Okay, so now I got some uh, clothing on. Let's open them up and see how they're doing. Up. There's the beehive. All right. Use a shovel to pop the lid open. That works pretty good. Alright, so there's not a whole lot of bees in here. Look at this. Alright, so as you can see I taped up my gloves. That ought to work much better. Also, I have my smoker and a hive tool. See, that's much better. Now this box is almost clear full of honey. Set this aside. There's really not very many bees in here. Let's take these frames out and have a look at that. Now look at that. They still have honey. That's good. Right, so there's a loose comb of honey. May as well take that out. Alright, plenty of brood comb is free. Bunch of dead bees that they still haven't taken out. In fact, there's a big pile of them down here. See that? There we go. We got some brood here. If I uh, tell the bees to move aside, see that cat brood? We got some baby bees coming along. Very nice. Even some nectar in here. So they're harvesting from flowers already. That's some good news. It also means I have a laying queen. I think this hive will do just fine. See all those dead bees? I'm gonna get rid of these. There we go. That'll help them out a little bit. I think I'm also gonna go grab some bricks so I can set the hive onto some actual bricks and level it up a little bit. Let's put these back together first. Do this. All 
Right, there it is. The hive has been looked at. They look pretty good. I think they'll uh, fill these boxes with bees in about two more months. And then they'll probably be thinking about swarming, at which time I might split them. Or at least raise a bunch of baby queens off of this one. Because uh, these bees were raised locally, and that does seem to help their survival rates. All right. Let's uh, go do something else. Hey, so are you guys uh, still uh, offering uh, bee packages? Okay, uh, so I would like to order about five packages of bees. Let's do, let's do the Carnelian Italian hybrids on April 9th. Alright, so five packages of those. Alright. <laughs> what was that? Oh, my name. Uh, it's uh, Cody Reader. C-O-D-Y. It's uh, Cody. C-O-D-Y. R E E D E R. Reader? Yep, reader. All right, thank you. Bye. Okay, that was awkward, but it is now done. So you just saw me ordering some more bees. You see, I've only got the one hive right now. In order to be really viable, I need to have more hives than that. Uh, so I went ahead and ordered five packages of the uh, Carney Italian Cross. Uh, honeybees. These queens are of course coming from California and I'll probably end up uh, requeening them using queens that I breed from this uh, hive that I currently have. So I get the uh, survivor genetics worked into them as best as I can. But I really needed the more hives in order, for, in order to do anything with them this summer. So yeah, I just uh, ordered uh, $600 worth in bees. Uh, they, were, they were $118 each. I got a slight discount if I ordered five, so I went ahead and did that. So, so that'll be fun. I got a lot planned with those bees. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. <laughs>